Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this crane hook in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And for that, I have this drawing open with me. So if you see this drawing, you can clearly see that from here till here, this is a regular shape. But if you see this side, this portion is having a irregular shape. So to design a irregular shape, we go for surface design. Now if you see this portion, you can clearly see that this portion has two paths. One is this path and another one is this path. Along with this, you have three sections. One section is coming over here. Second section is here. And the third section is coming somewhere here. So there are two paths and three sections to create this portion. Now whenever you have more than one path, you cannot go for swept blend. Because when you go for swept blend, you can only have only one path, either this path or this path. So you will be missing few details. So whenever we have multiple paths with multiple section, we go for boundary blend and this comes under the surface design. So to create an irregular shape, having multiple paths and multiple section, boundary blend is the suitable option. And that is why the boundary blend is used to create this part. So if I drag it up, this is the first path, then you have the second path, then the first section, then the second section, and this is the third section. So to use boundary blend, you can have a sketch as a section or you can have the edge of a reference surface as a section. So I have used the edge of a reference surface as my third section. And then once you have all these details, you can go for boundary blend. So when you have the edge of a reference surface, you can apply this tangent condition between these two surfaces. So if you right click to this symbol, you get four conditions here. First one is free. So when you have the free condition, you get a edge forming here all around. But when you apply the tangent condition, you will get a smooth result. And this all condition depends upon the boundary conditions which you have applied. If you go for normal, you won't get result here because these boundary conditions doesn't allow it. But if you have a sketch here as your third section, then you can go for normal. Automatically, the surface will be normal to the sketching plane where the sketch is done. Then you have the curvature condition. So again, you can only apply this condition when you have selected the edge of an existing surface and when you don't have any path selected. So in that case, you can go for curvature, but this boundary condition is not suitable for that. So as per my current boundary condition, I can only go with free or tangent. So free is suitable for all kind of boundary condition. Tangent is suitable when you have selected the edge from the existing surface as your section and the path is selected. For normal, you must have the sketch as your section. So automatically when you make it normal, the surface will be normal to the sketching plane where the sketch is done. For curvature continuity, you should not have any path selected but you should have the edge selected from the existing surfaces. So now you understood the difference between the sketch section and the edge section for the boundary blend. Now the next feature is the revolve. Then I have added the hole, chamfer, then cosmetic thread. Now once this is done, you need to solidify this bottom portion because it is still a surface. So to solidify it, your surface must be closed from all around. So if you see this surface, this is open this side. If you see this surface, this is open this side. So if I hide this surface, 
this surface is open from this side also and from this side also. So if I stitch this surface with this surface, then this portion will be closed. And that is what the merge is all about. So I have combined these two surfaces as a single surface. So this portion got closed, but still you have this portion open. But whenever a open portion is blocked with the solid material, no need to close that. This portion will be automatically considered as a closed end. But if you have a situation like this, where you don't have any material this side, then you need to close this. And for that, if you have a closed sketch like this, you can select the sketch and you can go for fill. So it will be filled with a surface. Now you can select this fill and this boundary blend and you can merge it to stitch this surface as a single surface. But here in this condition, this is not needed because I already have a solid material at this end. So when this is done, then I have used a merge to combine these two surfaces. Then you can go for solidify to solidify this closed surface as a solid material. Now the good thing about the boundary blend is you don't really need the equal number of segment for each section. So if you see this section, this section is having multiple segment all around. Here you have a circle and here also you will have a circle. So that means your all three sections are not having the equal number of segment, but still you can create the boundary blend. So for swept blend and blend, you must have the equal number of segment to all your section. So this makes boundary blend much user friendly. Now let's start this part from the beginning and for that go to new part solid assign the name and say ok. Now to start this part first I will create this path. These paths are also called guide curves. So I will go for the sketch to create the first path. I will select the right datum plane as my sketching plane. I will say sketch. Go for normal. Now I will draw one circle here. This is radius 62. Then one more circle. Somewhere here. This is 150 and this is 65. This is radius 15. Now I will draw an arc from here till here. Just like this. I will go for tangent. I will make this tangent with this. Now this is radius 180. Now draw one sketch center line somewhere here and a datum center line somewhere here. Draw another arc starting from here till here just like this. This is radius 150. Make it tangent with this. Then the dimension from here till here till here this is 60 then the gap between this and this this is 210 minus 22 then draw one more center line from here till here go for datum center point place a datum center point here and here this will be helpful in the future now you go for delete segment and delete all unwanted segment. Now this arc, you make it construction. It is just for reference. This is 150 and say OK. So the first path is done. Now one more time, go for sketch, use previous and normal. 
Now if you go for datum center point, you have this datum center point and this datum center point. So I can go for reference. I can select this and this as a reference. Now draw a sketch center line somewhere here. Then go for the circle. Start like this. This is 6 and this is 10. Now the radius is 150. Then go for arc. Start from here till here. Make it tangent. Then from here till here, this is 60. This is radius 75. Then one more time you draw a circle. Just like this. Make it construction. And now you draw an arc. Starting from here till here. Just like this. Make it tangent along with this circle. Now this is radius 100. Now go for delete segment and delete all unwanted segment. Now once this is done, one more time a datum point somewhere here and say ok. So the second path is also done. Now I will create the sections. So I will start with this section and for this switch on your datum plane. Go for sketch, datum plane, select this datum plane, press and hold control key and select this point. Say OK and go for sketch. Make it normal. Go for reference. Select this point and this point as your reference. You can switch off your datum plane. Now draw the circle. Just like this. Break this circle into this point and this point. So you have added two nodes here. Now you say OK. So first section is done. Now the second section. And for that, one second switch on the datum plane. Select the proper datum plane and go for sketch. Now go for reference and select this datum point and this datum point as a reference. Switch off all the datums and make it normal. Draw the sketch center line to this reference and this reference. Make it normal. Draw one more sketch center line somewhere here. So you need this to make the section symmetry. Now start with circle. Just like this. One more circle. Just like this. Then a line. From here. Tangent to this. Mirror this line. Using this center line. Then go for delete segment. Delete this segment, this segment, this segment and this segment. This and this also you can delete. Now go for round. Select this portion and this portion. Make these two equal. Now this is radius 10. So make it 10. Now go for symmetry, select this point, this point, symmetry with this, now the dimension, so from here till here, this is 60, 
and this is radius 18 then this radius is 50 so make it 50 and your sketch is done now at last go to divide and divide this segment from here and this segment from here so that you can form one node here and one node here now once this is done say okay so you have finished the second section now the third section which is coming somewhere here and for that i'll create a revolve surface so i'll go to the revolve onto the right datum plane and i'll say normal switch on the datum points go for reference select this datum point this point and this point as your reference now draw one line from here till here first make it construction then draw one datum center line from here to the normal to this reference line so this is done now go for a circle draw a circle just like this delete segment delete this segment and this segment and this segment say ok and ok so once your sketch is open it changes to surface now see the preview and say ok so now i have these two paths and three sections to form the boundary blend now let's go for boundary blend first you select all the sections by holding the control key you move your cursor here hold your control key right click and select the section now once this is done go for second direction and select this path press and hold control key and select this path now you go for control points click here select this point then this point then this point one more time select this point this point and this point Now say okay. Now if you see this end, you can clearly see that one edge is forming here. Go and modify this surface. Now you can apply the tangent condition here see the preview now the edge is gone all around say ok so this is done now this portion and for that go for revolve onto the right datum plane make it normal Now draw a sketch center line somewhere here. Draw the rough sketch. Just like this, press a datum center line here. Now this is 75 and this is M52. this is 22 from here till here this is 170 and say ok say ok now the hole of dia 6 somewhere here and for that first you switch on all your datums then go for datum axis Select this datum plane, this drag handle you attach with this, 
this you make it zero and this drag handle to this surface this is 131 and say okay now you go for hole select the center axis first press and hold control key and select this surface make it two next die six and say okay switch off all your datums now the next thing is applying the standard thread m52 and for that go to engineering cosmetic thread select this surface for placement then the depth so select this surface as a starting surface and depth is 75 move it to standard thread then change it to m52 now you say ok and your thread is done now the next thing is adding a chamfer so select this edge now this is 3 say ok now to solidify it first you stitch these two surfaces and for that select this revolve surface and this boundary blend and go for merge say ok and your merge is done now once merge is done select the merge and go for solidify see the preview make it fill with solid go for preview and say ok so it is done So this was the crane hook in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.